Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to play with the Snippets of Love kit uh, from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. It's so cute, and it, there's so many layers and so much detail. This has just been so much fun to play with, so I've already cut up some pieces, and I am going to work on another notebook for the craft fair season, so I thought I would uh, work on some of it with you. So I... This is the notebook I'm making the cover for. And I went ahead and made the snippet fabric like I like to do. So it has lots of yummy bits in there. And then I did gather that one up right there to so give me some dimension. And let's see, I need to go ahead and ink the edges of the ones I want to use. Um, I do plan on putting a, oh my goodness, my lights, y'all, my lights keep going off. I don't know. We, there is a big storm on the way, but I was hoping it would hold out long enough for me to make this video. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, I want to put a label. Where is that little label? Here it is. I kind of want to put it right there, and I'm going to tie it on. Um, so I went ahead and added these because I am so bad at adding these. And I did not want to do that on camera. I just didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these up. And I did sew around the edges of the ones I knew I wanted to use. I just think these are so cute. I mean, look at all the layers in there. Oh, it's so cute. So since my power went out, now my uh, printer's trying to boot back up. And it's a little bit noisy. So sorry if you can hear that. But um, I love a good storm, so I'm kind of excited to have a storm blow through, but I would love if it would wait till I'm done. <laughs> so this is another one of the pieces from the kit. Isn't that so pretty? So I was thinking that that is probably going to lay on top of this ruffled bit. And then I might... I don't know, I might be getting carried away, but then... That's kind of what I do. I was thinking about adding this frame around there. I still might do that. So I want to be able to sew this on. So I'm just going to glue right down the middle to put this down. already let me make sure my hot glue gun still on yes all right and I think I will glue down the edges of this there we go and maybe back here all right let me grab another glue stick have it on the ready okay so I'm pretty sure that's going to go there, but do I want to do that now or do I want to? I want the bigger side on top because I would like to put a bow, is what I'm thinking. But maybe I should go ahead and deal with this guy because it's kind of... I'm not real sure how this is going to go. I think I'm going to use some seam binding that I avocado dyed. Let me see. See if I can get it through there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so I think it's going to kind of go like that. Mm, can you hear that breeze? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I think I'm going to glue that. Oh, if everything doesn't block my table. Since I have the seam binding in there, I'm going to just use some hot glue to kind of hold it in place while I do the rest of the things I need to do to this thing. We'll see if that works. Ooh, 
live a story worth telling. How cute. I think I bought these in a Facebook group. Um, and I can put the link below to her Facebook group. She sells a lot of Tim Holtz stuff at a really decent price. So I will put the link for you down there. Now I need to get... Forgot also to turn my phone off. Well, I'm a hot mess today. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do that now. Goodness gracious. All right. Am I going to be able to get both of these through there? That's the only thing. I hope so, since I already have it glued down. <laughs> Yes, so it will look like that. I think that's so cute. All right, so let's try to get the other one through. That's adorable. All right, so what I'm going to do basically is glue this down to the back and then glue it all onto the cover but I think I won't glue this down until I have the fabric attached to the notebook so that I can make sure it gets adhered nice and solid but that's gonna go there I wish I would have scooted this up a little bit that's okay I still think it's cute I do want to add a little lace at the bottom. I think I'm going to use this pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts just to bring in some more pink. And it's cute. It's so cute. So we'll get that going. Yep, yep. Okay. And then I have some extra this is why I like to decorate it before I glue it down. It's just easier to work with before I attach it to the book. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Oh, so cute. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, I know this is going to probably sound weird because I thought it was weird when I thought of it. But I'm thinking about putting one of these metal corners on and then I can hang a charm from one of these loops so I did thread a needle but I think I'm gonna hold it down with some hot glue I'm hoping and then I'm gonna sew it on um, in theory I haven't tested that out yet to see if it's really gonna work Oh, man. I've already did eight minutes though. Okay. I'm sure I will not have a problem sewing this on, but I'm going to wait to do that because I'm going to run out of time and you guys don't need to see me sew that on. I'm going to sew it. And I'm probably going to sew that too. So I need to do all that before I put it on the actual notebook. And then I'm thinking I sewed some buttons on a snippet. And I think that wants to go right there. And then I will have the dangle coming down right here. I think yes, yes to that. I love buttons. All right, let's see. That's gonna go there after I put the thing on. I wanna sew this on right here. And then I'm gonna need a bow. And I don't know if I'm gonna need to make a bow or if I can use any of these bows I have in my stash. These bows right here come from Angel Dream Crafts. Um, and I love them. I'm just thinking I might want a fluffier bow, but I don't know. That's sweet. That's cute, right? Aw, I think I'm going to go with that. That's perfect. Oh, and I will show you the dangle I was I'm thinking about using. Um, this 
was in my Precious Bits kit from Ooh La La Vinted Treasures from Doreen. And I just took some of the bits off, but then I left some of the bits on. And I think that is just going to hang right there off of that corner. I just think it's going to be so cute. So I will um, have pictures of the finished piece all put together on my Instagram and on my Facebook business page and I'll have a link to those uh, below also and I'd love to know what you think please leave me a comment and a thumbs up and don't forget to follow the links below to get yourself some of these pretty stuff to play with and I will see you guys on the next one bye everybody